But now I'm going to scrub through all of this for you so you can see where we're at at the moment, right? So there's still some loose ones in there, but we're kind of bringing, we're bringing him all back to, together now. So there's a still a lot of, you see, this is 607 frames, 607 frames. That's about 30 odd seconds of straight up dialogue with no cutting. You know, these are the kind of real acting, real subtle testing scenes that are going to really bring the guy out. So it seems like I've got a lot of drawings that I'm doing here, but this isn't even, you know, this is the main framework. A lot of the other things are going to be little in-betweens. There is a little bit more going on here, but there's only about 70 odd drawings that I've done out of a potential, even if we're working on twos, out of a potential 300 drawings plus. I've, I haven't even got through a third, right? So that's um, that's why these kind of scenes are not really, you know, they're not really done, you know, screen time. Like, you know, the whole dialogue test with him lasts one minute, but we, it's, you know, sto in the story, it's going to break up a bit. So we're doing the acting. Um, but you can see, hopefully you can see it is it's looking really, really good. There's a like there's a lot of frame like 25 to 57, 77 to 87 to 121 so there's a lot of stuff like here when he turns here he says i remember you well and he's going to nod to himself right so there's no indication of a nod there there's so much more to be done but hopefully you can see the the way this is going right it's going to be a absolutely phenomenal piece of animation um Probably some of the best dialogue out there. That's the that's my gut feeling out um, about this scene. We're talking about how to keep all the stripes, right? Easy peasy, right? Model models are easy. Um, what, this is why we work models out. So this guy's head construction. I almost wanted to make a t-shirt design of this guy once. So his head is basically like this. I've, I've mentioned this before, right? It's like a mountain, right? Coming like this. Now, within here is the is the eyes which are two eye widths apart right then the nose let's have his nose at a, even though it's front on let's cheat and put his nose a little bit to the side right so the nose is up here like this right and we're gonna kind of create the muzzle as a square and I'm gonna create the muzzle down here as another square right maybe have his mouth open like that right maybe have it off to the side right maybe have this off to the side like this right so i figure out the the shape of his i'll adjust accordingly right according to what i'm feeling of the face you see how all that construction stuff is out the window. It's out the window to you guys. It looks like I'm not bothering with structure and anatomy, but it's stuck safely away in every line that I make now, right? So now I'm going to have his eyebrows coming up like this. Now here's where we add a bit of structure, the zygomatic bone and the jaw, right? So we're going to have this one kind of coming a little now this jaw is very important to finding his stripes right i'll tell you why later right so in here let's first draw him without his stripes let's first draw him without his stripes right so let's fatten my brush up a little bit right so one of his major stripes is his um is his uh eye right eyebrow so let's keep that like that. 
let's keep that bang in the middle now along the middle it normally sits at the top but when he stretches his eyes we put it to the middle like this right like there like that now i'm kind of putting a little cleft to squash and stretch his nose this is other kind of dog i'm giving you just because i can't help but describe what i'm doing right and another one up there you see structure is coming into the character now right um now i'm gonna cut in there for the mouth right and i'm gonna kind of give myself some structure along here right and then i'm gonna draw the mouth shape coming down right like this now he'll have a little bit of flaps of skin on either side so I can have that nice straight line coming down and just do that, right? Now, here, oopsie, I'm giving the game away about the stripes, right? So here he's got like his canines and his incisors, right? Which are just in the middle, one on either side like that. I don't really want to show his bottom teeth, but I'll show his bottom canines and a bit of his incisors, right? I'll have his tongue to one side, right? And I'll just make some lines in there to kind of help that angle, right? So we have something like that. Now, we have his fur his kind of fur on the side is almost like a beard right and it's kind of squashing and stretching but first i i'm going to talk about his chin which we're going to kind of define with some fur like that right then we've got the hair we can split that in half right and then we can come in here like this you well i'm kind of like giving the game away about the stripes by showing how the fur on his beard is designed like the the he's got like this noble beard which is his fur right which comes up like that i'm gonna change the head angle to the side a little bit right like that right so we have something like this i'm gonna bring that up on that out right and then here we'll cut in there and then we'll have a few coming along the side now his ears are gonna be like this kind of shape where we're gonna fold in I'm not gonna talk too much about the you can see how these lines are giving dimension and perspective and you know so it's not flat to his ears like that right Let's bulge his neck out a little bit, like this. I'm going to bring his eyebrows a little bit down. Now, a, a lot of his anger and a lot of his features are in the stripes. Like, that's essentially his, his, the character, right? But it's the stripes that are going to give him extra dimension and are going to give him extra features, right? So, we're going to come off here and we're going to do his inner eye, which comes along this line, right? Like this. Now it's kind of stretched. So that's the zygomatic, right? Zygomatic continues, but from here, we're going to come down, right? And then from the top of the ear, we're going to form a relief in his head. So it's like down here to the top of the ear right then down within there to the top of the ear right so that's how we find those stripes right now remember his jaw right came like this now he's got an open jaw so i kind of i'm gonna cheat it a bit but normally on his jawline we have another stripe that comes here I've kind of pushed the drawing so it's kind of squash and stretch right so along his jaw we've got the other stripe here like this then we have 
between here, right, we have this kind of like diamond, but without the bottom, which sits here. And we put a little eye in there like that. And then we put one on top and one on top like that. And I've forgotten the thing that really gives him personality of these lips, these flaps on the side of his lower lip. So they're just like rectangles on either side. And we make it heavy at the bottom there like that, right? Then an inside here, we're going to create an upside down eye there like that. Then we've got a stripe here like this, right? So very quickly, I'm not going to, I'm going to draw I'm going to animate him closing his mouth, right? In a squashed way. And we're going to find consistency. I mean, it's really good that you guys stuck around for today's stream because none of this is going to stay up, right? So miss it and you're never going to see it again. Right. I'm not even recording this. Right. So it's one of those moments in time. Right. Where we're hanging around at a coffee bar or somewhere and I'm I'm showing you what I know. Right. And you're just going to have to process the information. Right. So here. I'm going to do the whole one two two eyes in the middle. Right, which I've explained to you. It's not just a stripe. Oh, I forgot one thing, Patch. We've got like a kind of eyebrow piece here. And at the end and on the middle, we've got that. Right. So now I'm not going to draw him. I'm just going to kind of intuitively work with his stripes, Patch. Right. So we've got the eyebrow, pe eyebrow piece. One peach, Eyebrow piece. Right. One here and one here. Right. Working in there like that. The the middle section, right? And you can exaggerate its size, but as long as it's placed accordingly, it will animate, right? And we've got one on the top of his hair. We can give him a little bit of hair. No, that's not in his that's not in his character, right? Even though he's kind of disheveled and messed up, he keeps his nobility in his head is like he's a complete bald right so then here I'm gonna really think about the the under eye patch right you see how that's all working now the nose I'm gonna bring the nose down a bit right because even though it's squash and stretch this line represents the crease in the nose. It's not always there, right? So we're going to bring that in like that. Now I'm going to squash and stretch the upper muzzle, right? Like that. I'm going to bring the chin in this way, right? So you see that, right? Just like that. Really work in that expression. Now, I'm going to come in with this stripe. Now, this stripe is going to squash and stretch. Squ the deformity is good patch, right? But it's within the same. Remember, I'm always like making them, keeping the same mass, but squashing and stretching. So you can see the deformity of this V, right? Along that area there and now we've got the top of his head here so the deformity of this along here and that's gonna really sell the squash and stretch of the guy's face right and we got something like this Right. 
So we have this. And then we're going to kind of like get the teeth in there, right? One in the middle, one on either side. I've over, I've offset it from that middle line. Another thing I've missed is here he's got one, two, three, one, two, three, right? Here it's one, two, three, one, two, three. Now what's glorious is if I feel my volume is big, right? It doesn't matter because everything is proportionately correct so I can go here shrinking his head right down to the size which I think matches the stretch pose because he's all squashed and it doesn't matter right because everything is proportionately um, proportionately where it needs to be right it's um, the stripes are all where they need to be Right? Has it gone a little bit too small there? Let's bring him up just a little bit. Yeah, that'll do. Right? I did say I wasn't going to really animate it, but once you've started, you can't really stop because you're kind of explaining about all of the subtleties. Right? Then there'll be an upper thing here like this. So then again, here we've got, we can separate his fur out a little bit, right? But as long as this one is, you probably want to squash the fur completely in the squash pose. So I guess I'm just kind of giving you guys ideas about stuff, uh, which isn't really appropriate to what I'm drawing, right? So then this one will come out here like this. Now the ear, I might bring his ear up and change the angle of that. Right? I might bring that ear up, change the angle. Even the little zigzags inside the ear and the lines of that make the world of difference right and then this jaw right so his jaw is closed so along that jaw we'll put that shape like that right so that's the that's the that's the stripe he's got one there like that that's the stripe of the tiger, right? The the face, right? Now the arm. The arm. He's got his deltoid hair. He's got his upper arm hair, and he's got his lower arm hair, right? So here is the tricep tendon. Here's the tricep, the long tricep. Okay. Here would be the bicep, right? Here's his shoulder, right? Which is got a garment on it again this garment will have little tears in there that are like simple triangles all right when it's moving it'll look all very detailed then off off the tricep tendon we're going to create the fur around his arm like that now along the middle of the bicep is one coming to the bicep point right and then around off the top of the, just off the top of the deltoid, right? The shoulder circle is one. And then coming into around the top of the tricep tendon from the bottom of the tricep is another one, right? This is actually off because we don't want that to be one continuous line. So what I would do is, is I would want that to go in the middle and that creates better dimension so even if he is right like this right and then say say the other arm position he's kind of bringing his bicep in like this right so oh give him a foreshortened position right 
like this, right? You see how anatomy and construction work together, how I just draw the bicep in, but it's all based on the construction that I'm showing you, right? So then the deltoid, this thing will come this way, right? So we'll take some of those triangles out. We'll have his cloak. We'll have to come in here. Right. So around here, I'll start playing with the angle a little bit. Okay, so here's his bicep. So this is the inside of his bicep. So then here we've got the inside of the bicep. So it'll be like something like that. Then the other side is the tricep. Now again, I'll have to think about that in relation to the tricep. And then here we may not even see one, right? I may make it small and under that line there, like that, right? So I may even cut that off at the bicep and have the nice bulge of the bicep there like that, right? So as long as we bear in mind, you know, that we don't have to stick religiously to getting it all in the right. It can be quite irregular, but as long as it follows this pattern, one along the bicep, one along the bottom of the tricep, and one at the top of the tricep where the deltoid is, right? So that's how we keep consistency. It's not about, oh God, every stripe has to be the same size, um, yeah, when you're doing subtle, slow stuff, you got to be quite careful that they don't slide around the character's face. But that's why you got to be super solid with your with your um, extremes and your keys. But you can see that they all kind of follow this um, thing. Same thing with the leg. Um, so let's just say you know, he's got one kind of leg shape here. Right? So we want that. Sorry. He's got a bigger heel because if he was a cat, right, he'd be like that, which he is a cat. So the heel is here like this, but he's standing like a man. So we're going to give him more of a heel right? and quite a big set of feet to balance him out. Perhaps they're a little too big in this drawing. Right? Let's cut them off. Right? Wrong about that. So hair is very simple he's got like old school pants that have been got the triangles you know and the knees on there so then hair along here this insertion point we're just gonna have a a stripe along there like that and then we're gonna have one big stripe along the middle right and then one little half along the side like that so here I might want to it's the same angle but let's just say his leg had turned to the front right like that so I would do something like that angling down straightening up along the middle and then changing direction on the bottom right so we've got like the front set of feet happening for a stair like that. So that's basically a quick little a sample for you patch on um, on how to do the uh, stripes. So hopefully you enjoyed that. I don't see any um, let me see if I can refresh it in case 
it's frozen but if it isn't I don't see anything from Batch acknowledging that he saw it but um, Charlene saw it oh there he is fantastic um, so there we are that was my pleasure uh, to those of you who hung around for the restream I say restream but I only ever recorded this lecture once and I've only ever screened it once and real animator training libraries don't have me uh, access to it either so it is an extremely powerful stream that you guys have just witnessed um, the kind of stuff that uh, even students from Cal Arts would probably be greatly deprived of um, on their 180k degree so um, maybe not so the stuff that I've showed you here this is kind of generic uh, professional model stuff but the stuff we've been doing in this what, what you've just seen in the uh, restream of the pro lecture um, I'm glad that you guys that are in the audience the the, the stale warts um, sorry to call you that but the the people who are always there um, I'm very appreciative of you I'm glad that you hung around and watched that stream so I'm gonna show you what it's like if you was a real animator training library member you know now um, I have access to all of it right because I'm the creator but um, if you have your own if you're once you're a member you'll have the real animator dashboard so you'll click on real animator dashboard here you've got your account you got access to all the training library archives in your account if you click on your account you can access you know you see there are 11 archives i've got them all so i can access them all from here but you might only have two archives or one archive or six archives you can access them all from there so let's say you want to start the basics you'll click on the basics course you'll be taken to this basics overview page you'll see there's a ball series so you'll complete your way through the ball series with these three uh, lectures you can just you can either click on them but ideally you want to watch them in full screen so you'll click the little full um, screen window so i'm going to do a straight up horizontal ball right so we're straight in there with the with the lecture right which you just follow along so when i draw you draw okay so you let's say you've done that so you can go here to the next lecture and follow it in order so now you're doing the pendulum exercises. You'll see there's a lot more. We got six on the pendulum. You'll go and you will do the walk cycle series. Say you don't want to keep clicking next lecture. You can go um, back to the archive. Click the back to the archive link. And you can access them all from here. The walk, the jog, the run, the front walk, the front run, the head turns. So you can access them all from there. That's pretty much how it works. If you want to go back to um, the real animator training uh, basics, let me go to the back to the basics archive here. Here you go access the training dashboard. You'll click on that and you'll be able to go back and um, see all your other archives that you have access to intermediate, advanced blah 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 right let's just go into the advanced all right once one more just before we stop this so let's say you want to learn how to do the complete character turnaround now you'll see you're bombarded with um 15 videos okay and all of these videos are like one hour 11 one hour 15 one hour 15 one hour 24 one hour 42 one hour 37 one hour 40 so you get the picture they're very long videos um, and they're all in parts so you'll be able to do a complete um, character turnaround uh, let's just play this guy here um, well, hello and welcome welcome once again all right so let's just skip a bit that so lecture is going to help advanced, you I thought I saw, uh, yeah with so understanding doing, this lecture. Uh, this so of, in this lecture we are going to be like turning this. around right. uh, a full human torso. Um, so the facial stuff is there in this so lecture, but we are not archive, going to... The reason I'm showing this to you, you see me, you see me like not really explaining this stuff anymore to you, how to draw this guy, and it's a training library lecture, right? 
because in the advanced archive you're going to learn you're going to follow me step by step okay as i draw you draw well, even in the advanced archive you're going to learn muscles you're going to learn everything you're going to learn you know uh, construction figures you're going to learn how to put muscles on that you're going to draw along with me and by the time you finish this archive it's going to be pretentious to say that you'll be able to do what I'm doing now with the tiger, but you will at least have a fundamental understanding of it. So that's the, um, that's the training library. Let's say if we want to go to, um, let's look at the edutainment archive. So let's go to my account. Now I've got access to them all, as I've said. So let's look for the how to animate your own film, right? You got 56 uh, live streams here. So you see how, you know, episodes 1 to 10, episodes 11 to 20, episode 21 to 30, episode 31 to 40, and so on. And so let's say you've reached episode 45. So you'll look at 41 to 50. You'll click on there and you'll find episode number 45. I hope it's a good one. They're all good. Okay, yeah, here we go. So episode number 45. So you'll just click and you'll play that. And you can resume all this stuff. Now, because this Real is um, edutainment, okay, we'll look. This is a two-hour, 24-minute It seems like it's stream. taken me the whole year to do this, but some of you all know that I've been doing Little Red. Um, and there's those little a red, lot uh, of uh, other stuff. You know, it's edutainment. You're not, re you know, it's almost like watching... An extremely amazing YouTube live stream, which is what you've just seen uh, anyway. Um, uh, that's really informal, where we have laughs with the audience. I also even teach my audience. We get the audience doing push-ups along with me, how to stay fit at your desk and all that kind of stuff. So this is a lot more lighthearted than the training, right? Um, it's demo grade stuff, but it's still great information. Uh, so for those of you who like that kind of material... You've got that stuff all available to you. So that is the Real Animator Training Library, the world's best learning uh, resource in the craft of hand-drawn animation. Um, essentially, uh, just to remind you um, what you can do is these archives are available some either one by the training archives anyway, right? You can save yourself a ton of money and get the bundles, or if you somebody that just wants to select and just do them in your own time, uh, you don't have the budget for a bundle and you're eager to get going, you can just buy these archives individually. Uh, and that's the case with the edutainment archive. There is no edutainment bundle at the moment. I'm considering making one, but you just buy whatever you want, really. So that's... Uh, Real animator training, there really is, you know, it's a very flexible in how you can uh, join it and how you wish to work. So that's the training library.